Hello, my name is Jim Krupka. I'm an attorney with the law firm of Gennardi O'Dwyer, Gonzalez, Gallardo, and Winograd. Uh, I've posted to Gennardi.com a blog today about the uh, liability of alcohol servers. Uh, if you are interested in this topic, I highly encourage you to read our blog post. Uh, in essence, the blog discusses the liability of uh, bars for the negligent and intentional conduct of people who were overserved or who were served as minors. Um, the Licensed Alcoholic Beverage Server Liability Act um, basically imposes upon establishments that serve alcohol the duty to cut off people who have been overserved. Um, bars that overserve people, serving alcohol to people who are visibly intoxicated, can be uh, liable for the damages that result from the overserved person's uh, intentional and negligent acts. Um, essentially, what happens is if a bar is approached by a visibly intoxicated person, they have to not serve that person. What is visibly intoxicated? Well, it means the classic signs of intoxication that we've all uh, come to know. Slurred speech, staggering, aggressive behavior. Uh, in situations such as that, a bar has a duty not to serve that person. Um, thereafter, if a visibly intoxicated person is served alcohol and that person negligently or intentionally hurt someone else, the bar can be liable. A plaintiff must prove not only that the bar served a minor or a visibly intoxicated person, but that their injury was proximately caused by the overservice and that their injury was also uh, reasonably foreseeable. The purpose of the act, obviously, is to impose financial responsibility for damages of this sort on the establishments that overserve people. Clients of Gennardi O'Dwyer, Gonzalez, Gallardo, and Winograd can rest assured that we will be seeking any and all damages that we can on behalf of our clients who are injured by intoxicated persons. If you have uh, any additional questions, I encourage you to read my blog post and contact us with any questions you may have. Thank you.